So if you really want to set you and your students and participants up for success, I would call way ahead of time. I would send them information, do a, a workshop, especially if you plan on being there for a long period of time. You want to start on the right foot, you want everybody to be comfortable, and you don't want the participants to be afraid or embarrassed or never try to be in a public facility. Mm -hmm. And I think that once you establish that relationship, the people that come behind you already have an open door. And if you don't do that, you'll, you're, you're risking people being apprehensive, nervous, and even shutting the door before they even know what they're getting themselves into. Uh, and the other thing, I think it's so important to get people with disabilities out into the communities because that, the more we get our people with disabilities out in the communities participating, the more the public knows that they can do and accepts uh, a wider variety of people with disabilities. Uh, social constructivism is alive and well, and we must set the stage for everybody. The same principle goes with programs when you bring the public in, whether you're bringing in a dance group to teach a dance, whether you're bringing in an archery group to teach archery, they have to understand about the disability before they get there. Mm. I've had several programs where the kids have actually refused to do the activity because it moved too fast or the the instructors didn't modify the activity for them because they didn't know. Hmm. So it is really our job to educate out in the community and when we bring people in. And I think once you do that, you spend the time and energy doing that, the next group that they go to, it'll be easier and easier. Mm -hmm.